stop googling your symptoms it's not going to give you the answers that you're looking for because you don't have the context or the understanding to make an informed decision about that information i've got it off my chest i'm getting this too often people are googling their symptoms they're trying to figure out what they have and why this pain is there and what's going on Google is an amazing source of information and it's helpful to us when we want to answer questions. But when it relates to health, mental, emotional health, physical health, it is the worst place. Because unless you have all the information and you have the context and you can actually critically think about that, chances are everything is gonna be cancer and you're gonna freak out. And if you have anxiety, through the roof, everything is gonna freak you out. Everything is gonna be the worst thing in the world and you're gonna worry about it. So the best thing to do is to look at that information that your body is telling you, I'm feeling a symptom, and then to go and ask a professional who actually knows about it. And to remember that your body goes through different changes and does different things, and it doesn't mean that it's always bad. The general rule, and don't take this as, don't quote me on this pretty much, ask your health professional, but the general rule is, if that symptom has been getting worse or has not been getting better, uh, and there are obvious triggers for it, or it's waking you up at night, it's giving you the sweats, you're just not feeling good uh, and it's consistent, then I want you to go and speak to a health professional to get the information that you need uh, and the testing that you need to figure it out. If it's transient, if it's not affecting big things, if it's random, if it doesn't have much other symptoms, it's just a strange pain or something like that, just monitor it and then go and talk to someone. At the end of the day, you have to talk to a professional to get the answers. You can't Google it because Google's going to tell you what you want to see, which ironically is the severe stuff. No one wants to go on Google and then Google says, there's nothing wrong with you, you idiot. Get off Facebook, get off Google, stop looking this stuff up. It's going to say, you might have cancer, you might have this, you might have that. Because when, if I'm giving general information to a person, just like Google and the websites are, I have to cover my ass, I have to cover my bases. I have to put out the most serious information and then say, go and speak to a health professional. Because if I said to you, ah, it's nothing, don't worry about it, and it turned out to be something severe, even if uh, there was no signs that it was severe, even if I was 100% correct in making that assumption that there was nothing severe going on, because you read information, because it wasn't in a consultation room, uh, I would be liable or that website would be liable. So they're going to put the serious information at the top uh, because that's kind of what you want to see, which is why you're Googling it in the first place. It's what most people click on. If an answer comes up and says, your pain in your back is a muscle strain, absolutely nothing, or cancer, you're gonna click on the cancer one and go, shit, it could be cancer. Oh, I need to look into this, I need to find out what's going on, maybe I have it, right? So remember that it's geared towards clicks and views uh, and just general information with no context. So the rule of thumb is don't Google your symptoms. If they're consistent, if they're bothering you, if you're concerned about it, go to your doctor. If you're finding that you're continually doing that, maybe look at whether or not you're just stressed out, your body's stressed out, you're overthinking and overanalyzing uh, the signals that are coming from your body because that's very, very common, especially with health anxiety, is that we are misreading normal cues. Our stomach will gurgle from time to time, we'll get cramps from time to time, our body might ache from time to time. That doesn't mean that it's anything serious going on. Chances are it's not. Um, chances are it's your body just shifting energy or shifting tension or something random that you've done. And even if it feels like, uh, for example, there's nothing that I've done, uh, you keep telling me that I must have done something, but there's nothing. Nine times out of 10, you've just forgotten what you've done or were completely unaware that you did it in the first place. I deal with clients every single day with these things and it is so common. We just don't know what we've done because we're just living our lives. And so there's, chances are there is a trigger for it you just are not aware of it, and that's okay. Let your body rest and process uh, and speak to a professional because uh, if you were Googling you know, a funny sound that your car is making, you might get a little bit anxious that you might have a big repair bill. But if you're Googling what a funny sound that your stomach is making, you're gonna get more stressed out about it because it's your health and it's something that you can't control as much as your car or your fridge or your dishwasher. So with those things, those types of questions, ask Google. But when it comes to your health, just avoid Googling it because Dr. Google won't be able to help you the way that an actual professional will with all of the context. Now, if you have questions about anxiety, mental health issues, stress, things like that, you can post a comment or send me a message. Um, but otherwise, go and talk to your health professional and I'll see you guys next time.